G'day folks, welcome to Big V TV, VYC men and women, and some big news. I can confirm that uh, the Big V Awards night, Yep. got Jacko playing. Really? Yeah, I got him wow. in. Wow. Got him a gig at the night. It's a big, big in. Yeah, it's we've, a big got, in. we've got him in. He's promised us a little bit of cold chisel. Um, he's promised us some Aussie crawl. What's that? Aussie crawl. Are you serious or what? He's promised us maybe a little bit of Slim Dusty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know Slim. Yeah. You know Slim, but you don't know Aussie Crawl. Yeah. Are you kidding me? What's Aussie Crawl? So, uh, uh, Jesus. Oh, we're work. in the youth show. I don't think most of the people won't Oh, know. come on. They'll know. No, they won't. Like, seriously. Have you ever heard of James Rain? No. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Anyway, Jacko's in. He's going to bring his guitar. He's going he's to fly solo. He's going to get it up there. We, he may Jason let... Jason Derulo. He, Do you what, know who that is? Who? Who did you say? Jason Derulo. Who does he play for? <laughs> which team? Which team does he play for? Really? Well, Jacko plays for Killsworth. Who does he play for? <laughs> you serious? You're joking, are you? Who does he play for? He doesn't play. He's just anyway moving right it's along. An R&B singer. Me, R and what? Oh yeah, okay, okay. Moving right along. Um, uh, so Jacko's in. <laughs> uh, we, we, we may we may get a chance to. To have a bit of a sing with him, have a bit of jam at Big V Awards night. Sounds good. You Sounds good. Right. Oh, well, I'll find one by that night. We'll have a few singing lessons between now and then. By the way, uh, we haven't teed him up for that night, but hopefully by saying it, we're going to see what we can it. do. Yeah. That's right. Uh, VYC men, Sherbrooke 60 went down to Melbourne 64. Good win, Tigers. Both of us went win. the Suns. Well I, well, I went the Suns, and they probably went themselves after mm. at half time. Uh, then Tigers reeled off a 26 to 11. Bang. Taught him a lesson. Third thing. quarter, bang. Sherbrooke had a couple of wins. They would have been feeling a bit good about quarter. themselves. The Tigers are like, well, no, yep. this is what it takes. Yep. And um, Anthony Vlittis had 17. Rory Killen killed him 14 and 9. Good win, Tigers. Bulleen 69 defeated Sandringham 55. Sabres 30 turnovers. Yeah. That's... Squeeze the bloody think... orange. Is <laughs> that what you say? That's right, exactly. Now, look, Sandy had a good old fashioned shocker, I think. I think that's all this was. The but old Bulleen... Barry Crocker. Have you ever heard of Barry Crocker? Yeah, I know, I know. Have that. you heard of him? Yeah. Who is he? He has a white beard. Oh, I didn't always have a white beard. <laughs> Kyle Sawyer, 18 and 9. Reese McKenzie, 9 and 14. Jackson Hollins, 13 and 18 for the Sabres. Good win, Boomers. By the way, have a look at where we're at this week. <sighs> oh, yeah. Boomer territory. Temple we're Stoke. We're down here. Well, this is the court they would have got up and down on well, the weekend. I know. Well, they're third now. They're, they're rolling. They're, they're doing they're very some well. good basketball. Ballarat 49 went down to Dandenong 87. Rangers 26 to 6 first quarter. Done and dusted. It's oh, all over. I, I didn't think this, this uh, result would be any different, to be honest with you. Kane Ewan just missed the blue carpet this week. It's rough. He had 24 and 7. Just missed. Okay. There's some good performances out yeah, there. there. You is. can't always get in. Joshua Wallace, 13 points. Jack yep. Sullivan, 14 and 9 for Ballarat. Well done, Rangers. Yeah, they're just rolling along, mate. That, that, that sole loss, but apart from that, you know, that belly hiccup. How did our mates at Franger go? Good old Franger. They got smashed, mate. They got belted. Did you realize, someone said to me during the week, stop calling Frankston Franger, because no one knows what you're talking about. Who really? Really? Everyone knows that Frankston's called Franger. I would have thought so, but anyway, Franger went down to Geelong <laughs> by 32 points. Um, Geelong's last two games have been very good. Very good. Yeah, they're up and about. Yep. They're, they're, you know, I think they're a good team. I like Super Emerson Valley hasn't even been playing, mm. so that's good. Um, Joel McFall, 18 points. Riley Herbert, 18. Nathan Lemke, 12 and 13. Lemke's been good. He has. Michael Chevrolet, 22 and 9. Andrew Keneally, the stalwart for Frankston, always has a good game, 17 points. Good win, Supercats. None of winning, 85. Defeated Ringwood, 71. Good win, Spectres. Two in a row. Although Hawks, no Zach Haig, no Maxwell Sutton. Mm -hmm. Mind you, you can only play what's put up against you. That's right. I actually think none of winning. Uh, Ringwood still probably should have won this game. Ooh. But heading in, I think I tipped him. You did, I did. Uh, but um, not you know, means, another one in great job. 2 and 0 now. Mm. Um, oh, sorry, well, in the last two weeks. How did Stefan go? He balled. Mm. 23 and 11. Uh, Nick Ross had 18. K Mara 17 for the Hawks. Nick O'Halloran, a bit of extended playing time, and he had 15 points. Diamond Valley 73 defeated Hawthorne 61. Hawthorne, the giant killers. Mm. They couldn't slay this giant though. No. Couldn't uh, get them. No, look, I, I thought this was one of the big tests for Hawthorne. Mm. Um, and DV brought them crashing back down. They've been one of the premier youth sides for, you know, however long. 
And uh, they got it done. Nick Dean, good player, 24 good player. and 8. Uh, Ernst Kluger had 16 and 7 for Hawthorne, and this is the key. He only had 11 points for Ben Waldron. Benny Waldron. 17 boards. He had 41 the week before, didn't he? He did. So that's the key. And, they, and they won, so mm. I think that's the key. Um, and Tini Puo. Puo? 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 Yeah. Puo. Is he French? Puo. Tini? Tini Puo? Tini Puo? Yeah, that'll do. 21 points. How do you say yogurt in French? Is it yo play? Yo play? <laughs> is it? Have we know. asked that before? Yo play? No, I don't think we have. Don't they say that's French Le for yogurt? Petit miam. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Knox 86 defeated Eltham 57. <laughs> Big win for the Raiders 51 to 25. Second half. Wildcats 32 turnovers. <clears throat> Look, Eldon were right in this at half time. They were right there, but Knox just turned on the jet. Simon Grant played his first game, game this season for the year side. 22. He did 22. Leaf Cope 15. Daniel mm. Horseman 14. For Eltham, Julian Lipinski had 17 and 14. Waverley 78 defeated uh, Kilsyth 67. Good game. Ding Apparently, Adele. this was a, an absolute belt up, but yes. Ding Adele. Ding Adele. 29 points, 12 doing. rebounds, and 9 assists for the young man. Yeah, Deng Adele dominated. Abraham Lincoln with 15 points. Uh, good to see him up there and going again, old Abram. Uh, Kyle Adnam, 19 points. Arjun Smith, 17 points. Jacko Brazier, the guitar man. Yep. 15 and 11. Belted out a few tunes on the basketball court. Yeah, he did. Wasn't enough, though. Wasn't um, enough. Look, you know... Did, did not get asked back for an encore, apparently. Oh, that's rough. No, nah, well... This is apparently a really good game, though. And Waverley, you know, got over the top of a very talented Cobra side. These two are going to be finals uh, finals contenders. I'll tell you now, when Deng Adele and Abraham Lincoln are up and going, they're very hard to stop, yeah, Waverley. Right. Absolutely. It's very, very hard to stop. Terrell Ladder. Dandenong 5 and 1, Sherbrooke and Melbourne are 4 and 3, Knox are 4 and 4, Ballarat 3 and 4, Ringwood's 3 and 5, Nutter Warnings 2 and 6, and Eltham 0 and 6. That's that's pretty tight. It's it's really tight. Mm. I mean Dandenong, yeah, up on top. Eltham Sherbrooke down to Nutter Warning. Anything can change that. Uh, absolutely. Watson Low looks like this. Waverley 6 and 1. Diamond Valley and Bulleen are five and two. Hawthorne are four and two. Kilsyth and Geelong are four and three. Sandy are two and four. Right. And Frankston are one and seven. Other than Franger, it's Fra tight. Who? Yeah, I, yeah. Um, I think that's Frankston. Uh, it, it's tight. Mm, unbelievable. Round six, here we go. Saturday games. Knox, Nunna, Wadding. Spectres won their last two. They have. Show them some love. Show them some love. Show them some love. Knox, Nunna, Wadding. Knox. Yeah, Knox for me as well. Mm. Melbourne, Eltham. Melbourne. Melbourne for me. Hawthorne. Good game. Geelong. This is a good game. It's a really good game. Be a good test. I think uh, for Geelong mainly, but I think Hawthorne will get this one. Think, bounce back. I think Benny Waldron will lift his team up yeah. there. Diamond Valley, Ballarat. DV. DV for me. Sabres, Rangers. Rangers. Rangers to win. Sabres. Going to be in strife. Sabres. Look after the orange this week. Yeah, squeeze it. Look after it. Yeah. Let's stop throwing the ball away. Waverly Bulleen. Well, they take a lot of time growing those oranges up at Orange County, mm, up do. on the border. Yeah. You've got to look after them. Mm. Nurture. Nurture them. Waverly bullying. Sunday game, I'm going to go Deng Adele and Abraham Lincoln to get up over yeah. Reese McKenzie and his boys at Bulleen. I think you're right. We're in Boomer territory. I oh, know, but I think, uh, I think Waverly again. Kilsyth, Franger. Now, there's every chance Jacko might do a set, might, might busk down at Frankston, down at the shopping centre there before this game. Could. And I reckon it might get Kilsyth up. I, I think Kilsyth will, will win I think, this. I think they'll win too. Danny Nong at Nana Wadding. Danny Nong. Rangers for me. Geelong at Sandringham. I reckon Geelong get this one at home. Yeah, I think you're right. Ringwood, Sherbrooke. Officially, two neighbouring teams. We know that there's... No love lost. No love lost here. Who's going to win? Sherbrooke. Sherbrooke for me as well. Yeah. I think they'll bounce back. VYC women, Ballarat 51 went down to Dandenong 77. Rangers remain unbeaten. Six straight wins. Brianna Whatman. What? Whatman yeah. it is. 15 points. 15 points. Alan, Alan Kett, 13 and 7. Olivia Jones had 13 for Ballarat. Rangers Dandenong. just cruising. It's easy. Basketball's easy for Rangers. Cruise control. Frankston, 66 defeated Geelong, 58. Deanna Jolie for Franger, mm. 26 points. 14 of 19 free throws. That's a fair got return. To the, got to the cup. I'd take 14, 19. That's yeah. all right. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, Madeline Maddie. White, 18 yeah. and 10 for Geelong. Good game. Uh, yeah, Frankston over the top. You know, they're, doing, they're both teams that are sort of 
you know, teetering on the edge, but Frankston are... I think Frankston just need to find some consistency. They are. They're four and four. They seem to split every... Uh, change every week, which team shows up. So we'll see which one shows up next It week. was the upset of the round for VYC women. None of Wadding 37. Mm. Previously unbeaten, I think. Mm. Went down to Sandringham 57. No, no they had... Uh, they had lost. Am I right or wrong? They had lost. Oh, they had lost. They had one yeah, loss. Just the in. one, but just still, one. nonetheless, Sandy. Uh, Didn't expect this. Great win. Really good win. Good win. Uh, absolutely looked like they locked down, put, uh, applied the, uh, the screws and uh, slowed them down. Shot at just 21% of Spectres. Spectres. Yep. yep. And no player in double figures. Alana Gadsby had 18 and 13 for the Sabres. Gadsby's having a pretty good season. She is shining light for them so far. Melbourne 80 defeated Bendigo 58. Maxine Allen 25 points. Next best Tiger Courtney Gaze with 9. So Maxine Allen dominated. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, again, the minutes are spread at Melbourne Tigers. Um, everyone played around 20 minutes. But um, Alan made the most of those, and she, she did it in about 20 minutes. I like that name, as well. Maxine. Do you? Yeah, it's just got a bit of 80s ring to it. Maxine, I reckon. A bit of 80s. Can you remember the 80s? I was born in 1990. Tani Cannon, 15 and 9. So you just missed out on the best decade. Just missed out. The best decade. Oh, mate. I've seen photos, I'll Seriously? tell you what. <laughs> It's just not. Tani Cannon, 15 and 9. Jessica Mangan, 14 and 9 for Bendigo. Mm -hmm. Eltham, 34, went down to Knox, 56. Wildcats held to 13 points in the second half. That ain't going to do it. No, it isn't. Cassie Stockton was held to just 12 points in Still this Still had game. double double. She did, by the way, but <laughs> they held her. They did. She's been having better games than she, that. She has. She's been a beast so far, but yeah, well, Knox, they, they know what to do. Sophie Rourke and Yvette Thompson mm -hmm. had 10 each. Obviously spread the love there on their 56 points that they had. Ringwood 103, yeah. demolished Waverley 39. Massive loss for the Falcons. Felicity Bowmeister 23 and 13. Rebecca Nola having a good season 16 and 7. Ash Stainer 16 points for the Hawks. Yep. Chloe Betts 12 and 10 for Waverley now. Waverley have gone super, super young. They have. We know that. There's some heartache and there's some pain there right now. I know they're playing up in VYC. They'd probably be struggling against some of the teams in in youth one yep let it be said yep um, but, just can we come back to this because okay. they got another game so right. not, yeah. i see they've got to stick to their guns at the yeah moment. i do yeah That's in knox 45 went down to ballarat 54 good win on the road by the rush lauren mm. conroy 23 and 7. did not expect this result uh great win by great win. the rush anything else to say about no the rush? no i don't but it was just <laughs> a really good win didn't tip it you didn't Oh, I don't know about no, no you definitely didn't. Bendigo 46 went down another one in 83. They're back. Yeah, they bounced back after Saturday night Certainly in a did. major Big way. Turnaround. Michaela Dixon 16 points. Easy Dawson. That's Easy D. Ooh, no easy relation D. to Easy B. <laughs> yep. No relation to Easy B. That's Easy D. 13 points. And Elise Strawn. Strawn. I know you've been calling her Strachan. Her oh. mum's not happy at that, by the way. It's Strawn. I know. 13 points for Bendigo, good win Spectres. Hume City 42 went down to Diamond Valley 71. Eagles were good except from the foul line. Five of 15. What's going on there? They're doing it with their eyes. I know they were winning by a bit. Were they shooting them with their eyes closed? Oh, I think so. In the last quarter? Like, you know. I've just been showing off. Casey Scullin, 18 points. Yep, good game, good game. Nikki Dross, double-double again, 13 and 12. No Bronco, double digits. Casey Scullin's been pretty good. No, right? she's well, been pretty good fine. She's come through the juniors. Which is a new one, so that's, that's good, good to see. Yep. Wait, they do, it's like a never ending factory of players line. out there. We've spoken about yeah. that. It is a conveyor belt, it's a production yeah. line. You talked yeah. about it last week. That's right. Give me a point guard, bang, ball yeah. carrier, defender, yeah. rebound, yeah. production line. Yeah, I don't know. Hume City 42 went down to Diamond Valley. We've spoken about that. Waverley 58. You just read that again, didn't went you? Down to Kils <laughs> went down to Kilsyth 71. <laughs> Brittany Renton, who is a gun. 20 and 11. Evangelia. Evangelia Nicolitsis. 18 and 9 for Waverley. Yeah, now Waverley, here we go. They got smashed on the Saturday night. Mm. They dropped players down. Just Evangelia Nicolitsis and. Claire Lambie play? No? Maybe there's another Just one. Strengthen them up. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, I think that helps. It gives them a few more minutes into them. And uh, I was going to well, say did, before they did a pretty good effort. Well, I was going to say like. before they got smashed by Ringwood the night before. Yeah, belly. And and they're young. It's going to take time. It's going to take a yep. fair time. Yep. Just stick with them. That's, right. That's all I'm saying. Yep. Just we knew you're going to cop some losses. That's right. Bulleen 57 defeated Franger 42 on this court, right where we are Frankston. right now. Yeah. Frankston, sorry, they beat Frankston. The Boomers clinch it with a 17-4 third quarter. Amelia Smith 14 and 10. 
No Franger player above eight points. They're Frankston. not going to do it. Frankston, sorry. No Frankston player above eight points. Good win, Boomers. The good win, Boomers. They're doing very well. Terrell Letter. Now to Warning 6 and 2, Knox 6 and 3, Sandy 4 and 3, Frankston 4 and 4. There's your top four. Yep. Bulleen 3 and 4, Dime Valley 3 and 4, Geelong 2 and close. 6, Hume 1 and 6. It's close. Watson Ladder, Danny Nog 6 and 0, Ringwood 6 and 1. Standouts. They've been a surprise, Ringwood. Oh, yeah. They'd be very good. Melbourne 4 and 3, Killside 5 and 4, Ballarat 4 and 5, Eltham 3 and 4, Bendigo 3 and 5, and Waverley 1 and 7. These competitions are unbelievably close. It's fantastic. Round six, Saturday, Geelong, Sandy. <laughs> now, I didn't mean to leave you hanging there. <laughs> Geelong, Sandy. I'm going uh, Geelong. Uh, uh, I'm going Sandringham. Sandringham beat Nunna Wadding last week. Yeah, actually, I'm going to go Sandy. So. Yeah, way to change. Ballarat, yeah, right. Waverley. Uh, Ballarat. Get on the rush. Yeah. yeah. Ballarat for me. Rush. Rush. Eltham, Kilsyth. <laughs> Kilsyth. <laughs> Kilsyth for me. Uh, Brittany Ranton. Very Gun. good player. Gun. None are wanting bullying. None are wanting. We're in boomers territory. Yeah. We're in boomers territory. And I've got none. We've got to respect them and show them some love. All none right? are wanting. We're in boomers territory. You do this just and then you're just going to tip none are wanting. I know what you're doing. It. We're in boomers territory. That's a good point. So who are you going with? None are wanting or bullying? Oh, well, I have to go with none are wanting. <laughs> Yeah, I think none of what he might get up. Sunday games, Same. Bendigo and Knox. Knox. You know me better than my wife, you know that? That's scary. It is scary. Don't say that again. It doesn't mean he does anything other than that. Am you I just, still on the frame just, there? You just know me better than my wife. That's all I'm saying. Just settle down, you know, get your hand out of your pocket, by the way. Thank <laughs> you. Bendigo. Bendigo, Bendigo and Knox. Keep your hands up in camera no, vision. No, I'm not sure. Keep doing it. Sorry, can't help it. Knox no. to win. Danny Nong and Eltham. Dan, Danny Nong. Frankston and Ballarat. Mm. I'm going Ballarat. Mm, me too. Ballarat to win. Ringwood, Melbourne. Uh, I'm going Ringwood. Hume City, Bulleen. Bulleen. Diamond Valley, Sandringham. Oh, Diamond Valley. I think Diamond Valley as well. I think I've got some explaining to do when I get home tonight. Well, tomorrow when the show's gone. Yeah. Thank God my wife doesn't watch this rubbish. See you <laughs> next week, you idiot.